Living battering ram meets living tank in this dino on dino episode. The winner would be crowned living fortress, but that name is already taken by Animantarks. Seriously, one of the coolest scientific names ever, right? This three-horned face doesn't mess around. It's gigantic for one thing. The larger species, T. prorsus, is twice the mass of an African elephant and stretches over 30 feet long. That sort of size puts devastating power behind its ram, which it used to fend off predators like Tyrannosaurus rex. Triceratops had massive calf muscles to aid in quick charges and turns, a structurally advanced nemial crest on its shin that upped propulsion power and speed, and a ball and socket neck structure to create a huge range of movement for its four-foot horns. When it did ram its enemies, reinforced cranial bones lessened the shock to its own system while maximizing damage to whatever unfortunate creature it had chosen to stab. Imagine a German panzer tank with legs, and you'll have a pretty good idea of what it would be like staring down a 36-foot ankylosaurus. This low browser was a threat to the deadliest predators of its time. The second half of its tail was stiffened with ossified tendons to support a bony club that was basically a wrecking ball. The mace weighed hundreds of pounds and could snap bones like sticks. And Kylosaurus's tail base had wide transverse vertebral processes to add incredible power to swinging, and its body was very wide and strong. Its short legs were also thick and powerful, which was perfect for providing bursts of acceleration to use in turning around or even body slamming. These two dinosaurs both could hold just about any predator at bay with equal effectiveness, making them even in the attack department. As physically intimidating as Triceratops and Ankylosaurus were, neither of them were exactly raptors when it comes to intellect. They each had an encephalization quotient of about 0.2, which is extremely low. It puts them below cows and stegosaurs, but above creatures like prosauropods and politicians. One thing's for certain, the outcome of the fight wouldn't be decided by a game of chess. A general rule with animals is that the bigger they are, the more damage they can absorb. That certainly plays to the advantage of Triceratops. Its layers of muscle and skin were thick, likely resembling a scaly elephant's hide, and it was so big that most theropods didn't dare come near. The area around its head and neck was protected by a frill of solid bone, and hence with spiky knobs, but the rest of its body didn't possess such armor. Ankylosaurs don't care. Ankylosaurs got things to do, places to be, nukes to deflect. It's called Fused Lizard for a reason. Its dense, pebbly skin was fused with bony scoots the size of a kid's bed. Even those had layers of keratin on top of them to make its armor virtually impenetrable, and its head was also equipped with protective spikes down to the eyelids. Its wide body made it basically impossible to roll over without access to something like an Indominus Rex's claws just to frustrate the predators further. Triceratops has a slight edge in speed and agility, and is quite a bit larger than its opponent. They're equal in attack power, so it's the imbalance and durability that tips the scales in this rivalry. Ankylosaurus is the most heavily armored vertebrate known to science. Its gigantic scoots would nullify any slashes from its ceratopsian enemy and turn full-on rams into glancing blows that might just result in Triceratops' horns splintering. From there, one solid hit with its club could shatter bones and tear flesh. But don't think of it as a completely one-sided fight. If Triceratops charged at the right angle, using its ball and socket neck structure to aim, it could pierce Ankylosaurus in its less armored areas and possibly knock it over. Overall, Ankylosaurus has a 65% chance of winning, while Triceratops scrapes by with 35%. I guess not even the super popular Ceratopsian could deal with an 11,000 pound bone sheathed honey badger. Created using Powtoon!